we are going to talk about educational planning. Educational planning process, characteristic and component of educational planning. To give us an insight about that, we invited the students of Pacific Intercontinental College who are also professional teachers from different public schools here in the Philippines. So let us welcome them. Welcome to Inside. Welcome to Inside. Welcome to Inside. You may take your seat. Okay. So, by the way, what is planning? Alice, in defines planning, as a way of projecting our intention, that is a method of deciding what we want to be accomplished. Kogo holds that to plan means to project, forecast, design, or make, or charge, or a course. From this view, it can be summarized that planning refers to the act of deciding in advance what is to be done, how and when to be to do it, where and who is to do it in order to achieve the goal or objectives of the system. In order to achieve the goals or objectives of the system, a plan is a detailed scheme, program or method work out before hands for a purpose of achieving a set objective. There are three basic elements in a plan. It deals with the future, involves in action, and identify who is to be implemented. The future action. Planning bridges the gap between where we are now and where we are. So, why we plan in the first place? Planning is vital to all schools because it helps build better programs for students. It does this by helping us to decide how and where to set priorities in the use of limited human and economic resources. It also helps us to decide how to accomplish not only your short range goals but also your medium and long range goals. Okay. Planning also helps us to build on the strong and successful parts of the program as well as to identify and improve the weak parts. Help us to reach agreement in the school community about what to do and how to do it. So, how do we define educational planning? Educational planning can be defined as the process of setting up strategies, policies, procedures, and standards through which educational objectives. Educational planning is determine a systematic process, it does not happen by chance. It is a goal-oriented and it's directed at achieving a set of educational objectives. So what are the process of educational planning? Okay, the process of educational planning, first, is the statement of education, educational objectives. Here in educational objective, it must be identified and clear, clearly stated. We will ensure that there is no confusion about the objectives. So, the second is the identification of Mars activities. And the Mars activities are needed to achieve the stated objective of the PRD. Identify the study of those activities related to supply of the human and materials, sponsors that are required. The radius from identifying such uh, institutions like schools, examination bodies, and so on. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am, for that uh, wonderful or um, very good idea regarding the educational planning. Uh, we also invited another set of students from Pacific Intercontinental College who can give their uh, ideas about our topic. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so let us welcome our next visitors coming from the PIC. Please welcome the PIC. Welcome, welcome to Insight. Welcome to Insight. Welcome to Insight. Welcome to Insight. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Insight. Okay, you may take your seat. A while ago, we talked about um, the process of educational planning. I think there is uh, somehow a uh, part of process which is missing. So, what do you think is that? I think the last one is the evaluation of the results. Evaluation should be related to the stated objectives. The extent to which a plan meets the objectives 
it has established for itself can be determined by looking at the implementation and relation to those objective and outcome results. Okay, so do you have any idea about the characteristic of educational planning? Uh, primacy of planning is the first step in management. It takes precedence over all the other managerial functions. Everybody plans even though not everybody plans well. As a teacher, you plan your lessons before you go to teach them. Actually, planning is pervasive. By this, we mean that planning cuts across all levels of management and all the other material functions, whether at the primary, secondary, or university level of education. Planning is done. For example, the managerial functions of organizing, staffing, etc. involve some planning. Planning is a mission oriented. Planning involves the mapping out or tracking of activities in such a way that it helps to satisfy human wants. Thus, planning is a goal directed. Example, planning is directed at achieving a specific goal or a set of goals. Planning is a future oriented. Planning, as said earlier, it is the process of deciding and deciding in advance what should be done in the future and how it is to be done and who will do it, when and where to do it. The process takes into consideration past trends and present experiences in order to project into the future. So, what are the uses of educational planning? We have the identification of objectives and strategies. By this, we mean that educational planning helps in identifying and defining the objectives and strategies programs, procedures, policies, and standards which education needs to be more effective and efficient. Next is proper distribution of scarce resources. By scarce resources, we mean the limited resources which are available to satisfy our wants and needs. Educational planning aids decision making. Educational planning helps decision makers at all levels to reach a better and more informed decision. What do you think are the need of educational planning? Resources are limited. Thus, the need to determine and advance a program of action for the attainment of goal within the within questions. To achieve maximum effectiveness, efficiency, adequate plans, help to direct and coordinate the action of employees in order to achieve maximum effectiveness, efficiency, and productivity. Help in administrative decision planning is necessary for administrative decision in education for it aim to putting into action what educators uh, need to achieve. Clear choices. Planning enables a nation to make uh, its choices clear in terms of the aim and the objectives. Optimal utilization of resources. Education avoid imbalances on inner mass, waste and replenish the steadily and aggravated shortage of teachers. What are the components of educational planning? Supply and demand of teachers, educational financing, school buildings, curriculum development, educational materials, expansion models, relevance to political. Component of educational planning also include economic, social and cultural policies and objectives, and the greater implementation and legal basis. There are stages of educational planning. What are those? The stages are pre-planning, planning stage, diagnosis, formulation of policy, assessment of future needs, costing of needs. We can also include target setting, feasibility testing, Plan formulation, plan elaboration, plan implementation, plan evaluation, motivation, and testing. Thank you very much for giving us your time, sharing your ideas about educational planning. So let us give our uh, self a round of applause. <laughs> planning is used to gain control of the future through current act. It is a process of preparing set of decisions about an educational enterprise in such a way that goal and purposes of education will be sufficiently realized in future with available resources. I would like to end this topic with a beautiful Chinese proverb saying that 
If you are planning for a year, sow a rice. If you are planning for a decade, plant trees. If you are planning for a lifetime, educate people. Thank you very much and good day.